Hi, okay, in this tutorial um, we're going to look at the concept of just managing your codes or reviewing your coding. Um, you know, in analysis as opposed to just coding, managing your codes and reviewing the coding is uh, just as much part of the analysis as the coding itself. Now in other projects we'll be looking at the concept of managing nodes and looking at how you might actually reorganize and restructure your nodes into a hierarchy that makes sense that you deconstruct the data originally in your cycles of coding, open coding, etc. Uh, and then that you reconstruct the data into a framework for analysis. Well in this example, as part of that process, we're going to look at just two tools in Invivo for reviewing your existing coding during the coding process, which would be uh, the coding stripes and indeed the uh, highlighter. Uh, and you will see why you might apply those differently. We're going to start off with the highlighter. If I just want to review coding against Barbara's transcript, I'm going to open her up and I'm going to switch on or off the coding stripes so that I, I may or may not want to see how I've coded Barbara. But if I do want to see, I'm going to just switch this into um, detail view right so I can see a bit more of the transcript. I'm going to just move that over here a bit and I'm going to switch on my coding stripes for selected items. I don't want to see every single node that's coded, I just want to see perhaps one round of coding. So if I look at uh, these nodes here, uh, or, or these, I can decide what nodes I want to see, and I'll just pick them for these ones here. I'll select this group of nodes, but not these or these. And that's what I'll see in my coding stripes. And it'll switch on, on the right hand side of this screen here, any codes that are displayed anywhere in that document are listed across the top. But as I move down the document, the colors come in against the various codes that are put against that particular piece of text. And this, of course, equally applies to other types of sources, such as media files. So if I go over now to look at, say, uh, Helen's audio file, I can do the same thing here. I can open the file and I can see by switching on or off the coding stripes, view coding stripes, none, or view coding stripes, we just take most coded, and I can see here where the codes overlap and what codes are gone against both the audio and the transcript. So the highlighters give us detail as to what's coded and where it's coded to, or so to say the coding stripes does that. The highlighter is a different tool it would give us just more generic information. So I'm going to reopen up Barbara. And this time I'm going to switch off the coding stripes. I don't want them. I just want to see where I finished coding last night. So I'm going to expand this document and I'm going to again go to view. But this time I'd select highlighting for selected items. And I want to see against this group of nodes, say this was open coding or axial coding as one cycle of my analysis, um, or indeed all codes. I just select what I want to show and again, it'll highlight anywhere in the document that this data is coded to any of those nodes. So I can see this entire document has been coded comprehensively uh, to that set of nodes. It doesn't tell me where, but at least every, I know that every segment, except this bit at the top, has indeed been coded. And again, I can filter the coding stripes to uh, see just one or several nodes.